Hello, I'm Professor Debbie Terry, Vice-Chancellor of the University of Queensland and Chair of Universities Australia. On behalf of those present, I acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we now meet. I pay my respects to their elders, past, present and emerging. COVID-19 has brought into stark relief the value of the amazing teachers in our universities. Our educators move quickly to adapt to online learning. Their expertise made a difference. It meant students stayed connected and engaged in their studies, even when dealing with the complex challenges brought about during the pandemic. I want to thank all university teachers for their hard work helping students adapt. Over the last two decades, the Australian Awards for University Teaching have celebrated outstanding achievements in university teaching. The recipients of these awards are an amazing group of people who have dedicated their careers to learning. I'm honoured to recognise these inspiring educators today. I'd now like to hand over to Awards Director, Professor Angela Carboni, to begin the awards. I'll be back later to announce the Career Achievement Award and Teacher of the Year for 2020. Thank you, Professor Deborah Terry, and welcome everyone to the announcement of the Australian Awards for University Teaching. I'm Professor Angela Carboni, the Associate Deputy Vice-Chancellor Learning, Teaching and Quality in the STEM College at RMIT, and also the Director of the Australian Awards for University Teaching. Today, we are here under very unusual circumstances due to COVID-19. Never has there been a time like the present when so many educators have spent so much time rethinking their pedagogy as right now, genuinely engaged in new forms of online delivery, technologies and resources to support their students' learning. Many have had to quickly move to teach online. Classrooms have been reinvented, technology affordances have been embraced, laboratories and tutorials have been redesigned for asynchronous delivery and assessment completely rethought. And these changes have been reflected in this year's submissions. This year, we had 170 submissions, 127 citations, 14 program awards, 29 teaching awards. These entries were assessed online and the assessors followed three distinct stages to the assessment process for each category. Stage one was the individual assessment stage. All assessors individually reviewed the submissions online based on a set of criteria. Stage two, the collaborative assessment and moderation stage. All the assessors came together in their assigned teams over Zoom to collectively shortlist the submissions. Stage three, the awards committee selected the overall recipients for the categories. This was the final stage of the assessment process and the awards committee reviewed the recommendations from the assessment panel and either confirmed or modified the assessment before sign off by University Australia Board of Directors. To our 165 assessors, I sincerely thank you generously for devoting your time and making considered and tough and often difficult decisions. Without your continued commitment, dedication and passion, a celebration like this would not be possible, even if we are connected remotely. So please, everyone, join me in thanking our assessors. And to our university educators, I trust you'll continue to develop new creative and innovative curricula and resources to improve the educational experiences of our students. So thanks, everyone. Next, we'll be announcing the award recipients. I now announce the winners for the 2020 Australian Awards for University Teaching in the award categories of Citations, Program Awards and Teaching Awards. Citations. Citations recognise and reward the diversity of contributions made by individuals and teams to the quality of student learning. This year, 65 citations are awarded to recipients from the following states. National, Australian Capital Territory, and Northern Territory. New South Wales. South Australia.
Western Australia. Queensland. Victoria and Tasmania. Program Awards. Awards for programs that enhance learning, recognise learning and teaching support programs and services that make an outstanding contribution to student learning outcomes and the quality of the student learning experience. This year, the four program awards go to Edith Cowan University Regional Learning Hub, who has established unique partnerships with regional innovation centres to create scalable and sustainable processes that widen participation and address the challenges experienced by regional students. Victoria University, the first year college created in 2017 to enhance the first year experience with the aim of improving the learning experience and outcomes for all first year students, irrespective of background, education or chosen discipline. University of Wollongong, co-curricular recognition framework enables and formally recognises student engagement in transformational learning experiences outside of their formal curricula, contributing to graduates' active citizenship, personal and professional development and Deakin University, creating globally ready graduates prepared to tackle global conservation emergencies. The Wildlife and Conservation Biology degree program aims to produce highly employable conservation practitioners who not only have the theoretical knowledge of their discipline, but also the skills, experience and attitudes required to tackle the global environmental challenges facing society today and into the future. Teaching Awards. Teaching Awards celebrate a group of the nation's most outstanding university teachers who have made a significant contribution to enhancing the quality of learning and teaching in higher education. This year, the four Teaching Award recipients are Associate Professor Jack Wang from the University of Queensland. Jack challenges his students to become citizen scientists in the digital age who learn through creating, analysing and communicating scientific findings to the masses. Jack embeds disease outbreak scenarios into his teaching, which are brought to life through interactive classroom discussions, audiovisual stimulus and hands-on undergraduate research experiences. Dr Amanda White from UTS. Amanda's dedication to improving the student learning experience, not only at UTS, but for students around the world, is evidenced by her free learning resources on YouTube and open access initiatives around academic integrity. Associate Professor Michael Cowling, Central Queensland University. Michael is an award-winning technology strategist and communicator committed to fostering thoughtfulness in educational technologies for students and educators. For over 20 years, Michael has been a leader in educational technology and computer science education. Associate Professor Matt Bauer, Macquarie University. Matt is a passionate, innovative educator who inspires his pre-service teachers about the immense potential of educational technologies through a range of cutting edge and carefully sequenced designed experiences. Congratulations to all the recipients. And now, back to Professor Deborah Terry to announce the Teacher of the Year and Career Achievement Award. Thanks, Angela. Now to the Premier University Teaching Award, the Australian University Teacher of the Year. The 2020 award goes to Associate Professor Jack Wang from the University of Queensland. Congratulations, Jack, and I'm really looking forward to hearing from you. Microbiology encompasses the complex interplay between microscopic living organisms and their ever-changing environment over billions of years. 
There is so much richness, depth, and complexity in this field. So many stories that need to be captured and shared with the world. I have taught thousands of students in science over the past 10 years. I challenge all of them to become citizen scientists who can communicate scientific findings by distilling complex information down into bite-sized parcels for the digital age. I am a strong advocate for students and early career scientists and have developed a national program that enables them to develop their science communication skills using social media. My students complete hands-on assessment tasks to develop transferable technical and communication skills. They learn how to produce, record and edit podcasts explaining the science to the general public. They complete laboratory obstacle courses featuring core hands-on techniques used in clinical diagnostics. They collaborate to research the latest global disease outbreak or pandemic and collectively present their findings to the class. I practice what I preach, a model best practiced by communicating to my students in a variety of ways through traditional lectures, interactive animations, and original videos featuring expert interviews, lab demonstrations, and on-the-spot problem solving. This very video you're watching now, all of the footage, voiceovers, and animations was shot, edited, and produced by me. These are the skills you need to communicate to audiences in the digital age, which will inevitably change over time. Embracing lifelong learning is the key, which is something I instill in all my students. My teaching practice embraces technology and much like microbiology, the field I teach is constantly evolving and adapting. I'm always learning new skills in online communication and multimedia production, and I'm focused on reaching as many students as I can and mentoring the next generation of citizen scientists. In 2020, Universities Australia has brought back the Career Achievement Award. This award goes to one or more individuals who have made an outstanding contribution to learning and teaching. Their achievements have had a major influence and left an enduring legacy. The 2020 award is posthumously given to Professor Tracy Bretag. Tracy believed passionately in academic integrity. She was a leader in her field and throughout her career, she worked tirelessly to raise awareness of this issue. Tracy's work identified the extent of contract cheating and informed national laws to combat this practice. For most of her academic career, Tracy taught at the UniSA Business School, where she received a number of awards for her teaching. Sadly, Tracy passed away in October. She's remembered as a true guiding light for our academic community. And that concludes today's virtual awards ceremony. I'd like to again congratulate all of the recipients of today's awards, and I'd also like to thank the awards committee chairs. You can read more about the achievements of the 2020 winners on the Universities Australia website. Thank you.